So really quick, we're just going to take a look at the build we used in that ISA. We're using the command variant of the Alachi Shashar Dreadnought. Um, pretty basic, what you've seen on this build before, if you've seen any of my torque vids with this. We have the Enhanced Biomolecular, the Neutronic, the Delphic, which is from Lobi, the Terran Task Force, and the Terran Task Force Disruptor Dual Heavy Cannon. For Disruptor, we went with the Counter Command. We have the two-piece adapted Mako, both the Impulse and the Shield. And then we have the Temporal, which I like to use. It has Amp, and it has the Trajector Jump. Aft, we have the Kinetic Cutting Beam. This is mostly just there to proc weapon system synergy. Experimental Proton for the three-piece set. Uh, goes along with the Gravimetric Torpedo and the Console. You can see there it's giving us Crit Chance plus Photon, which we do have a few Photons on. And the three piece is plus 10 severity and then uh, plus 10 severity for photons. And like we said, the gravimetric. In engineering, we have the Delphic console, the interface quantum distributor. We have the bio neural from Lobi, the proton stabilizer, which is part of the three piece set we just looked at, the dynamic power redistributor, which is from the prototype version for feds of the Warber uh, prototype dreadnought. For Romulans and KDF, it's purchasable on the exchange out of a pack. We are running the three-piece set of the Terran, as you can see. We're running the fortified hydraulic assembly. The three piece, that's two pieces giving us projectile, and the three-piece is a secondary torpedo launcher. We have the bioneural using this. The two-piece bonus is going to set down the cooldown on our neutronic, which is nice. And then another low buy console, the Rule 62 multi-purpose. Then we have four torpedo exploiters for the critical damage. Skills, we have still a uh, basic kind of science ultimate. We haven't respect differently here. One major change, we have gone to Intel over temporal operative. This is because right now on triple, if you have continuity or invincible able to save your life, as we'll see in the tooltip here, it says, must have a must not have a power that saves you from death available to activate. So even with a good day to die, we cannot activate our go down fighting until both of those are on cooldown. So I do not use temporal operative right now. I'm also not using invincible. Uh, traits, your basics, you know, um, starship trait wise, tactical analysis, unconventional tactics, weapon system synergy, torpedo barrage. Um, Invincible was on there, that's because we did an HSE, but I actually wasn't using Invincible for the ISA. Um, I believe I was using Tactical Retreat. So, And uh, Space Rep, we have Advanced Targeting Systems, that's our Crit Severity, Torpedo Pre-Fire Sequence, Offense, Auxiliary Power to Offense, Omega Kinetic Shearing, and then Controlled Countermeasures. You'll see our stations here. We are not threatening with this build, so we do have strategist secondary, which is giving us our crit chance and things like that. So, you know, all still pretty basic here, over here. Um, only difference is, I don't think there's much difference in the bridge officer. Have our con officer to get our recharge time down because we don't have the multiple copies of tactical team. And these are all things we're going to play around with and, and see what we have to do, so... But, you know, that's the basic build there. You saw what it was done. So far from what we've seen, torpedoes have actually still been doing really well on triple, um, as well as cannons have been doing exceptionally well, and science abilities. So, you know, we'll keep the testing up. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one.